Hi, I'm Magnus. This is my new way of storing my sheet goods. And if you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. Normally you see this part of my workshop, but today we're going to focus on this part, which is a complete mess. And I need a better place to store my sheet goods. I actually built a, a, this mobile cart for my sheet goods, but as you can see, it's completely full. I plan to use the back side of this wall for storing the sheet goods. And besides that I need the storage, I really need to clean up. I made a model in SketchUp to figure out a simple but working solution and came up with this. It's basically five brackets with a small angle mounted directly onto the studs. I started to cut some pieces of 45 by 95 mm, 2 by 4s, to rough length on my miter saw. I needed totally five brackets, but since the long pieces would be ripped with an angle, I could manage with three long pieces and five short ones. Then I set the stop lock on my sliding table saw to 135 cm and then cleaned one end before cutting them to size. These foldable stop locks is a real treat to use when making many pieces of the same size. I then changed the stop block to 35cm to cut the smaller pieces. To rip the long pieces I used my new crude tapering jig, which worked perfect for this. If you want to see how I made it, there's a link in the description below. After the first piece was ripped and removed from the jig, I could clean the offcut piece and by that get two pieces from my brackets. Then it was time to make the half laps, and I lowered the blade to just under half of the thickness. By making test cuts and flip the piece in between, I could easily see when I had exact height to cut right up to the middle. To make the other setup for the half lap, I simply used one of the pieces and adjusted the rip fence accordingly. And before starting, I also retracted the fence from the blade prevent any dangerous situations. Then it was just to start hogging out material, which is a bit tedious with a regular blade. I don't have any data blade, and I'm not sure if it's possible to use on this table saw anyway. After a lot of cutting, it was time for assembly. I used regular wood glue, checked for square and secured it in place with some bread nails before pre-drilling and adding some screws. Then I set the brackets to side to let the glue cure, and in the meantime I could transform my tapering jig for the next operation. I used the same jig with a slightly different configuration to clean up the side that was going towards the wall. To make it even prettier, I also cleaned up the top edge of the brackets. Before assembly, I also pre-drilled the holes in the brackets. Really good use of my wide vise when doing this, and I also have a video of when I equip my workbench with it. Just look in the description below. Due to the thickness of the brackets, I also countersunk the lower holes a fair bit. Finally, time for some assembly. I started by attaching one of the brackets to a stud, and then used my leveler to get the rest in a straight line.
To add some structural support, as well as making it more simple to slide sheets in and out, I decided to add a bottom as well as some strips to the sheets to lean on. This was pretty straightforward, just cutting a piece of plywood to width and length for the bottom and then also a couple strips for the back. To attach the bottom and the strips I used wood glue and some bread nails. To add some extra support, I made some wedges that are just glued in place. When the glue had cured, it was time for some workouts. Yippee, no! But it has to be done. To secure them in place, I just used a quick clamp for now. Well, there we have it! Also, check out these channels, there's links down below. Thanks for watching!